radio broadcasting had always been an integral part of multimedia setup of the country india is now home to the public broadcaster all india radio and several private commercial fm channels across the country post 2006 when the supreme court ordered that airwaves are public property a third tier of radio broadcasting came into effect in india these were community radio stations they are short power hyper local radio broadcasting setup meant to be run for the people and by the people in the third episode of op talks we discussed with the community radio operators on how they are operating their challenges and how they are helping in fighting the war against covid-19 hello viewers welcome to the third episode of op talks in our first ever panel discussion we are joined by mr n a ansari from radio namaskar konark mr sheikh mohammad niyaz from radio bulbul bhadrak mr pradeep tadatta from radio kisan bali patna and mr shishir das from radio surbhi daspala a warm welcome to all the panelists on this special conversation on the role of community radio during covid-19 and lockdown curbs i know broadcasting during covid-19 and lockdown curbs must be a difficult task must be a challenging task for all of you the radio broadcasters of odisha let's first of all move to mr niyaz from radio bulbul bhadrak mr niyaz thanks a lot for joining or supposed live my first question is can you explain to us how difficult was broadcasting during this covid-19 for all the community radio stations in odisha and also can you explain how these community radio stations are different from the popular fm channels uh definitely uh community radio is you know we have a larger uh, reach uh, because of local uh, radio and second thing is that uh, all the private radios those who are working you can say they will not work rigorously what how we are doing because we are not commercialized right they will just uh, you know uh, just small thing they can spread but like us we do lot of program half an hour one hour dedicatedly one program we are doing right particularly every day we are doing all the radio community radio but private radio they can't do this kind of things we have the people they go to the uh, village means community we have the uh, people they uh, give us the message we have the awareness program you know we just have to take care of uh, all the things that uh, when whenever we uh, walk we walk with the community first right so these are the difference between uh, private and uh, means community radio community radio have the larger reach because of the community involvement now let's move to mr ansari from radio namaskar konark mr ansari you have seen funny you have seen a number of natural disaster hitting puri district or different parts of the state how do you think this hell disaster of covid 19 was different from other natural disaster and how much difficult it was for you to continue broadcasting during this covid 19 threat you see uh, working through community radio during this type of uh, disasters like or pandemic covid 19 it is too tough but uh, our team and most of the radio uh, team members are habitual with working with disasters but uh, this pandemic situation of corona or covid 19 is different from other disasters though all the team members are trained by the seniors and all are working in different sphere with social distancing and fighting against fake news etc but uh, right now is you you see we have to 91 functional community radios in india and all are working against covid 19 and uh, very impressive sir coming from the ground and in different states all the functional community radios are um, very hard working and we are getting very positive uh, response from the administration also 
Mr. Das, what special shows you planned as a broadcaster to attract the attention of your audience, especially during COVID-19? Because during this time, during lockdown, a lot of newspapers and authentic sources of information were finding it difficult to reach out to a large section of the rural population. Mr. Das. Initially, we did a lot of uh, narrow casting, but after a certain point of time, we tried to avoid that narrow casting. We switched over to broadcasting. But we not only informed people, communities, but we also made them aware through different kinds of merch. I mean, uh, our songs, we had, we produced a lot, number of dramas, plays, and we also uh, had a number of uh, interviews, discussions with community. And uh, the advantage is that uh, mobile technology is there. Everybody has a uh, almost a smart smartphone. So you could reach people that way. But otherwise, the physical movement for other our staff members was a difficulty. Definitely. Mr. Ditta, my first question to you is how the community radio stations, like the community radio stations that you are operating, is helping the people in rural areas at a time when a lot of myths, a lot of curious concerns are rising among the people. Yeah, Manjji, you see, the, actually the working of community radio for the rural people is the, uh, uh, I think it is the first uh, most important point for community radios, whether it is for other issues or for COVID issues, it is general. Where community radios are, because uh, around me, there are uh, 200 uh, villages we are covering for community radio. And in COVID-19, uh, as we discussed about the COVID-19 issue, people in rural areas, uh, we are going to them, people are listening us to the listeners club also. We are directly contacting to the uh, uh, SH groups also, to the block uh, community health center, CSE. So there is a close, uh, I think there is a close uh, interlink. We are, we are making a close the link between the uh, extension departments, governments and the people, those are working, uh, those, those are uh, uh, taking around us from the villagers, the SSGs workers, the uh, Anganwadi workers also. So, uh, the people are listening their voice because uh, uh, from our villages, from the, the, uh, the nearby villages, people are listening the voice of the medical officers, their block officers, the voice of the collectors also. All the messages are they are getting all the uh, closed uh, extension people messages in their villages. Let's move to Mr. Ansari. Mr. Ansari, can you explain to us that whatever information that you are disseminating relating to COVID-19, how you ensure that these are authentic information, government verified information and no information related to COVID-19 is broadcasted unauthentic from your station? See, that is the most important thing. And you can get examples in many states like Uttarakhand, Odisha, Jharkhand, and Tamil Nadu. People are working against fake news. Hmm. Community radios are working against fake news. Generally, we are motivating people that uh, they shouldn't go with the social media fake news, but they will they should rely on the government news. And uh, community radios are generally broadcasting the news they are getting from the local administration, from the state government or central government. Generally, the health departments or INPR departments. So, we are propagating the um, propagating the true news or the accurate news and we are fighting against the fake news. We are making aware people that this is fake news and this is the news, news from the source. Mr. Niaz, Mr. Ansari has raised a very pertinent question, very important issue of fake news that is circulating during the times of COVID-19. Do you think in your area there have been an increase in the numbers of fake news, especially related to COVID-19 and how as a community radio station, as a responsible broadcaster, how you are ensuring that such myths related to COVID-19 are busted and only authentic information, real information reaches to the people. We, we don't have to, the biggest thing is that we don't have to spread the fake news and fake kind of things. Some like for an example, I can say if we, yesterday only one uh, guy from Jharkhand, uh, uh, he was in the Randia. So what he had, uh, Randia, so he, uh, he had somewhat 
written that in social media that he had died. But uh, lastly, that SP superintendent police, the SP, that they have tweeted in uh, that you know, no, no, he is uh, alive, and uh, you know, this is the rumor. So we immediately have done the uh, through radio and through. We also tweeted this one. Don't uh, use the fake. Uh, don't spread this fake news. Let's move to Mr. Das. Can you share your experience of how much support you get from the state government or the central government when you decide when you opt to broadcast in a hyper local environment? Yeah, state government has not given any concrete support. If you think in terms of health advertisement, only as you said rightly, there are only seven government radio stations are receiving health advertisements that through district uh, CTM through district CTM. But I have already placed this claim for all the 17 radios. I am also the president of the Community Radio Association of Odisha. So in that capacity, I have already produced that and submitted. And that is under process. That is what they are saying. It may take time. But seven are already apparent right from the beginning. But this is what they are receiving. And uh, other uh, support from the central government is not that visible. Nothing of that sort. Mr. Ansari, can you explain to us that how these community radio stations like Radio Namaskar of Konark that you are operating is working towards increasing the awareness of the people, especially the local area where you are serving? You see, there are different types of uh, practices in different community radios. Uh, and also, it depends upon the dynamics of the locality or regional requirements or needs. So, first of all, we are uh, making aware the people regarding COVID-19, what is it and why social distancing is important, etc. Sometimes we are also talking regarding different terminologies, English terminologies like quarantine, social distancing, etc. in local languages to make people aware that this is not the hard things like people are thinking the quarantine means warrant etc so we are making it so easy in their local languages and sometimes we are talking with a local administration and line department officials uh, what is the um, localized information or instructions from, from the administration and uh, second important thing is uh, the generally mainstream media can't provide the localized information from the district administration or local administrations. Mr. Niaz, you're broadcasting a lot of information now on COVID-19. Many of them are emanating from the government sources. Is your station working in collaboration with the state government, state government officials? And do you get support from them in broadcasting or some other way? Yeah, definitely. Uh, collector uh, is uh, cooperating us. Not only collector, superintendent, police also. They are also uh, taking help us because we whatever we do, we also do in the uh, tweet. We uh, put in Twitter. We uh, do in uh, Facebook. So we we use the different medium also. This is only not the radio. We use the uh, Facebook Live. We use the uh, Twitter. We use the uh, you know um, uh, Facebook Live, Twitter, then WhatsApp and uh, radio broadcast also. So through all this, we connected with the district administration. Whatever district uh, suggested, we have to uh, take care of that one and we uh, broadcast that, that one. Now let's move again to Mr. Das. Mr. Das, do you think that these community radio stations can play a key role in natural disaster like cyclone or any health disaster like COVID-19? You are very right. You're absolutely right that uh, Community radio as such is people's voice and it's a kind of authentic democratic kind of media. And it uh, works at a kind of a bridge between the communities and the administration. And whenever, when there is no power, no electricity, no kind, nothing kind of a print uh, media is possible to access the areas. So the community radio stations can go air and it can reach anybody in the community. And particularly people believe that because it is their media. So that's the authenticity and that's the whole beauty of community radio. So communities by people, they take community radio into their, you know, trust. It's a trusted media. Thanks a lot, all respected panelists for joining our Suppose Live on this special conversation on the role of community radio during COVID-19. I hope 
you all continue to serve the local population where you are operating. Thanks a lot viewers for joining or Post live on this special conversation on our third episode of OP Talks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified on all the upcoming shows of OP Talks. Till then, bye-bye.